Hi again, chat. Uh, how's everyone doing since Lauren's lore? Wait, we good? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was an interesting week. We had um, me become Walter Scheidt, a.k.a. Scheisenberg. We had, um, you know, crusty echo effect and uh, Melpert punching to the Kapusi. So it was a weird week. It was a really weird week. Very interesting. <clears throat> Have you seen the Hotel Mario fan remaster? I haven't. Thank you. Thank you. When does he say pussy? I mean, me, when do I say it? <laughs> yep. Yeah, pretty much. So yeah, it's been it's been a very interesting week. Um Welcome to the stream. I liked your pre-recorded podcast with Liam. It kind of ended up turning into that, didn't it? It was just me and Liam talking about shit while playing a video game, as opposed to us playing a video game and then talking about shit. But it was fun. Um, and then there was a uploaded today, there was VR chat stuff. We checked out some cool worlds. So his Star Fox video is very good, yes. Vinny, Silent Hill 2 remake is very good, confirmed. I have seen, I've seen, what day will you play Grun? I already did the, did the demo of Grun. I don't know if I'll do the full one. I'm not sure. Um, here's what I've seen. I've seen an overwhelming majority of positive reviews. It's one of those things where you kind of have to just trust yourself when you play it, but also having a lot of people, you know, kind of amalgamate into game good. It's a little surprising, but you know, there's definitely some people who are a little bit more lukewarm on it, but um, yeah, it seems to be good. The problem is you're not really, a you're not really supposed to like it. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. Um, I've seen a lot of people see, I don't, I'm, someone said, I'm not buying that. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You're not really supposed to like it. There, there's going to be some some stuff out there that, you know, even if I end up liking the game, I'm sure people will say I'm lying as well. I know Bloober's record. I know Konami's record. The fact that this game might be good is going to be a small miracle to some people. And you know what sucks? If it does end up being as good as it seems like people are saying it is, Am I going to be able to enjoy it as a streamer without having to justify myself constantly? I don't know. So what I would say is if you, if I do end up streaming it and you come to the streams, just try to leave me alone. <laughs> if not, then just watch this, watch the game and see what you think of it as it happens. And if not, you know, then play it yourself, give it a shot. At the moment, I'm interested, but I'm not, um, I don't know when I will stream it. Maybe, maybe later, maybe earlier. I'm not sure, but I hope it's as good as people are saying. I'm worried about it for a number of reasons, but I'm not going to get into that right now. It is Sunday stream. And I think, um, we do have Silent Hill on the menu tonight, but it's in Doom. So that's cool. Um, Vinny, hot take. I don't think it's creepy spooky at all. There was something about the limitation of the graphics, the original, that really added to the creepiness. High fidelity shit just really takes away from it. That said, chat member, I, I don't disagree 100%. Let me ask you a question. Can you do anything spooky in more modern gaming at all? Is it possible? I wonder. I don't even know what chat member said that. Oh god, the chat's scrolling up way too quickly. Well, I've played some games that are spooky for different reasons. And, um... 
Vinny, I think you came to take some serious thought in cinematography. That's fair. Well, we'll see what happens. I'll give it a shot when the game comes out, probably, and we will talk about it then. But, um, yeah. Someone said, what the hell is a genus? Isn't genus actually a shortened version of Genesis? No, it's not. It says here, a cloud native semantic search system based on deep neural network. Hmm. Well, never mind then. Um, yeah, someone said if the Silent Hill 2 remake is good, does it mean Layers of Fear is good now too? I don't know. I, I don't think it does. No, I don't think it means that. I think it, it means that... Um, I see what, what's happening, by the way. I see this is already becoming a very annoying discussion. And I get what you're coming from, where you're coming from. But I don't really like Bloober myself. It's just gonna... This is gonna be the end of time, this kind of stuff. It means Bloober got lucky. There you go. Well, we'll, we'll stop this now. And we'll talk about that another time. I promise we'll have a good discussion about it, and I'll try to be as clear about how I feel about it as possible in a future discussion. Um, for now, though, I will show you something very interesting. It is that time of year again, viewer. Spooky season is upon us. And we have a charity stream coming up. We're going to be raising money again for Gamers Outreach. And what they do is provide gaming and entertainment for kids in hospitals. They have a unit called the Go-Kart, which is custom designed, and they can bring it around to people in medical facilities that just need a distraction. Since we started supporting Gamers Outreach, we've raised enough for six Go-Karts, which is incredible. And we can't thank you enough for that. That's over $21,000. Uh, this year, we're hoping to raise a couple more bucks, and um, we hope you stop by. It is Thursday, October 24th at 7 p.m. Eastern. It will be Halloween themed, so viewer beware. You might be in for a scare. So yeah, stop by, watch a stream, maybe donate a couple bucks if you have it, and support a good cause. Um, all relevant links will be below in the description, including gear, actually seeing one of the go-kart devices and interviewing some people about it. And um, you can see the rest of the charity information there too. So, thank you. Goodbye. Okay, so you heard it. There's a charity stream, October 24th. So stop by for it. <laughs> is that Great Leno's illegitimate child? That is um, Nortz. What's wrong? What's different? I'm always next to an alien when I stream and play video games and do videos like this. Literally every time. Is that Joel? I had Joel fly in from Sweden to put on the alien mask, then leave and go back to Sweden the same night. Yes. So it's me. And I used something called the magic of gaming and editing. It is that. That is actually, believe it or not, that is actually me. I know. Now, the graphics are so good, you couldn't tell. But there is actually a little cut in the shadow. I don't know if you could see it. The split screen is not perfect. I, it's the magic of movie editing. It's, it, is, it is magic. But um, Nortz actually wouldn't want me saying that. Because, see, Nortz is feeling a little stiff these days. So I had to do... I had to play him briefly. So, yeah, so the, we, we do have a charity stream. It's going to be Halloween themed. We have a number of horror games that are multiplayer and some like fun stuff. It should be good. Um, I hope you come by. We've done this charity a couple times now, and you heard the whole, the whole spiel. So, yeah, stop by for it if you can. Um, another thing, too, is I tried... Um, 
I just wanted to, I took a picture of some of my stuff that, um, that I had since, you know, I already have the coffee sleeves. Now, listen, it's not up to me if Nortz decides to make videos like this, okay? He, he's, he's got a little bit of an ego, and he wanted to, he wanted to set it up, and he wanted to show off, so I let him. You know, it's all his stuff. He earned it. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah. Vinny, you haven't used your bathtub since then chat member am i not allowed to put coffee sleeves back into my tub am i not allowed to do very dumb silly things for my alien tonight's big story the moon is gone but everything's fine this just happened about five minutes ago we don't know how and we don't know why but it's gone. We're going live now to a correspondent on the street interviewing a clown. I'm telling you, it's those damn mimes. Shifty little shits. I heard they were all making invisible lassos and throwing them up towards the moon. All at once, trying to pull it down. Guess they finally did it, huh? We gotta get them. We gotta get them. Let me and Schlocko and Bozo and Gonzo and Binky and Chuckles and Gigglesworth and Tickles roll up on them in the clown car. We'll fix things. Invisible lassos. Unbelievable. Mimes. Boy, that was heated. Here's a mime to comment. That's another Nobi One video if anyone wants to go support it. N O B E Y O N E. Um, actually, believe it or not, believe it or not, chat, that was a longshoreman dude. Some random longshoreman guy that had like a funny kind of. Uh, <laughs> he had a very funny way of speaking. So. Vinny, did you also voice the mime? I did. Yeah, I did. Well, hey, chat. Welcome to the stream. Uh, my brain is all over the goddamn place. Someone said, Vinny, your channel is not just a collection of videos. It is a library of knowledge and entertainment. Keep on taking us on this exciting journey. Yeah, um, so I posted the video of the charity announcement, and that's exactly what I got from real people. Sophia Young, J7N7N. Obviously very real. It's a, it's a library of knowledge of Grey Leno, Nortz, Meat, March, Crumping. It is very, you know, professional, hard work. Every time. It's nice to know that long after my relevance fades, I'll always have them. Sophia Young, J7N7N, Barbara Alto, they'll be there for me perusing my library of knowledge, always having some kind of delicious comment. Chathew, listen to this. Listen to this information I have for you. This is... Let me... Hang on. No, do a sec. Don't, Johnny, just cut that. <laughs> Just just cut that. 